students now in this session i will explain question number 2 of exercise 6.2 chapter squares and square root now in question number 2 we have write a pythagorean triplet and the first number is given 6 remember we have to write the pythagorean triplet that means a combination of three numbers and you also have to remember that the three numbers should be an integer fine i repeat the three numbers should be an integer and one more thing that you have to remember students that the triplets are always in the form of triplets are in the form of 2m n square minus 1 and n square plus 1 so this is a common statement for each question right so trip, triplets are in the form of 2m this is the first number then the second number and third number now the important thing is that we have to know the value of m until and unless we do not know the value of m we won't be able to find the all the other numbers also right so see how to find it out now when any number is given when any number is given you need to compare this number with this number fine why not with this number if you compare with this number we will not get an integer how let's see suppose if we compare 6 with n square minus 1 that is equals to 6 fine so if we have to transpose this one towards this side so what will happen n square equals to 6 plus 1 so we'll get m square equal to 7 so we can see that if we take square to towards that side so it will become a square root sign fine so m equals to root over 7 so this is not an integer so this is not an integer so we need one integer value the same thing will happen with this also when we will compare this n square plus 1 equals to 6 again will not get an integer but when we will compare the value with 2m but when we compare the value with 2m students okay but we'll, when we will compare the value that is 6 with 2m what we'll get see m equals to 6 upon 2 so we'll reduce it see now what is the value of m value of m is 3 and it is an integer now since uh, now if uh, now when we know the value of m equals to 3 now we can easily find the value of other two numbers also that is m square minus 1 would be what now what is the value of m 3 so we'll write 3 square minus 1 so that would be 3 square is 9 9 minus 1 is 8 so this is your another number let's go to the second number uh, third number m square plus 1 So that would be what? Three square plus one. That would be three square is what? Nine plus one. That would be ten. So the required triplet is what? So required triplets is equals to what? One number is already given six. What is the other number? Eight. And what is the other number? Ten. So this is the required answer, students. Okay. So what we have observed that. whenever any number is given you always need to compare this number with 2m to get the value of m okay and why not with this two because if we compare this value with this two we will not get a proper integer fine so these are all irrational number we'll get <coughs> okay so let's move on to sum number 2 sum number 2 uh, we have 14 so this is a common common statement that we have to write Okay, the triplets are in the form of two m n square minus one and n square plus one. So what we have to do? Yes, we have to compare fourteen with this. Why? To get the value of m. So two m is equals to fourteen. So m would be equals to fourteen by two, and that would be equals to seven, isn't it? Two ones are two, two seven is fourteen. So value of m is seven. Now let's find out the second number. So n square minus one, that would be equals to seven square. Minus one seven square we know forty nine minus one that would be equals to forty eight. So the second number is forty eight. Now let's find out the third number that is seven square plus one that would be equals to forty nine plus one that it is equals to fifteen. Now therefore the required triplets required triplets would be equals to what? One number is all was already given. That is fourteen, and forty-eight, and fifty. Okay, fifty. Fine. So these are the three numbers which are triplets. Okay. 
So let's move on to sum number three. Sum number three, we have 16. So again, we have to compare the 16 with this 2m. So 2m would be equals to 16. So m would be equals to 16 upon 2. So that would be equals to 8 as 2 under 2. 2 is a 16. So value of m is 8. Now let's find out the second number. m square minus 1. m is what? 8. So we'll write 8 square minus 1. That would be equals to 64 minus 1. 63. So 63 is the second number. So what would be the third number? m square plus 1. That is 8 square plus 1. That would be 64 plus 1. And we'll get 65. So therefore, required triplets is equals to 16, then 63, and then 65. Okay? And sum number 4 would be your homework students. Okay? So that's it for this session. Thank you so much. God bless you all.